In the world of mountain biking, it's increasingly common for non-bike brands to build credible mountain bikes alongside industry stalwarts. But the thing with e-bikes, it's not just about the motor and the battery. So the question is then, can a motorcycle company create an e-mountain bike? Back in the 1980s, when I was doing my paper round and riding motorcycle trials bikes pretty much every day of the year, the name Gas Gas had yet to appear. 20 years later, and I became the proud owner of a Gas Gas and pretty much spent all my time riding muddy banks, rocks and rivers. And this is actually the very bike and the farm where I suspend all those hours and days practicing. 20 years on then, and things have changed considerably. The bikes are now far lighter. You've got smoother engines and way better suspension. Simon, take it away. Today, years later, I've been invited by Gas Gas to ride the latest range of their bikes, this time e-bikes. As you can see, I'm still gonna be wrestling hills, rocks, and probably some bogs later on. We're in the beautiful hills then, south of Belfast, to take a look at this famous brand, and also delve into the details of their latest EMTBs, the Trail Cross, and also the Enduro Cross. Over the past few years, we have seen many motorcycle brands getting involved with e-bikes as part of a bigger picture of e-mobility that has taken hold worldwide. At the same time, we have seen e-mountain biking blow up over the last few years, and many traditional off-road brands such as Gas Gas or our new partner brand Husqvarna getting heavily involved. And why not? Because on an e-bike, you can do so much of what you can do on a motorcycle. And after all, mountain bikers have been trying to emulate motocrossers for decades. <laughs> so maybe the question then is not can they build, but what will they bring to e-mountain biking? So where does the name Gas Gas actually originate? Well, it simply means get on the gas. Um, now, whereas some brands come from a geographical location or person's name, Gas Gas or Vamos, Gasafondo, Gas Gas is actually in the spirit of riding. It's all about getting dirty, having fun, and not taking life too seriously. The Trail Cross comes in three model ranges, the 5, the 7 and the 9, from 3,199 euros to 4.6. Now this bike has 140mm travel front and rear, 29-inch wheels, uh, the PWX2 motor from Yamaha and a 630 watt hour internal battery. Now moving on to the Enduro Cross, this has a 29, 27.5 mix, uh, again three models, this time the 8, the 9 and the 11. This time the prices range from 1 euro under 4,000 up to 5699. Uh, the motor, again, the mighty PWX2 from Yamaha, uh, knocking out 80 newton meters of torque with again a 630 watt hour battery. But folks, what an amazing location we have here today above Ross Trevor, and we've got the mid range in Eurocross and the top spec trail cross. So let's get cracking on some more trails.
Now the term cross is central to all the e-mountain bikes in the Gas Gas range. And I really like the vibe of this craze because it really emphasizes their off-road heritage and influence. But whilst the brand goes beyond that traditional hardcore racer, it is important to realize how much they've done. I mean, for example, 16 FIM World Trials titles since 1993. But just what can a motorcycle brand bring to an e-bike sport which is dominated by the traditional mountain bike brands? Well, for starters, it shouldn't really come as a surprise that they most probably will because, let's face it, it was an automotive brand that kicked off this whole e-mountain bike thing back with Bosch. And don't forget, it is said that Yamaha invented the first pedal assist system back in 1983. Cool then that we're using Yamaha motors on these bikes. We also know many people are loyal to brands, so I'm thinking that many trials and motocross riders or fans will maybe get some ideas that EMTB could be a great way to go and explore a whole new world of off-road riding experiences. I certainly have. Motorcycle brands might actually bring some freshness and that's by having new people in the mix. But ultimately, I think it is very cool that e-mountain bikes have paid the way for this crossover. We'll be seeing and are seeing top class off-road athletes taking a dabble into the sport of EMTB. We've already seen a huge amount of this with gas gas riders using the EMTB for training or simply something a bit different. But it's not just petrol heads that are turning to pedal power. No, I've seen multi world cycle trials champion Kenny Belay riding a gas gas too. Now, up until now, I've been riding the 140 29-inch wheel bike whilst my mate Jordan Scott, who's pretty handy at trials, motocross and enduro, has been riding the 160. But now things are tilting that way, I think I'm going to nab that bike. But it's not just the out and out hardcore off-road mob that they're catered for. They also have other bikes in the range, for example, the four cross-country hardtail bikes. Check out the very sleek looking 7.0 bikes. And of course, they have the dual cross range, shopping, commuting, and also for rides in the mountains, a mix of road and MTB, very much a trekking bike. Have some details then guys whilst we shelter from the east coast rain here in Ross Trevor, isn't it Jordan? Wetter than an otter's pocket. It is wet. Uh, right, the gas gas. Uh, this is the Enduro Cross, it's a full alloy chassis. Uh, now I'm riding a size large, I'm six foot, so it's bang on. There's a 480 mil reach on this. I think the size above it goes up to 500, so plenty of room in these bikes. Uh, in terms of the componentry, we've got a RockShox Z fork, Schwabby tires, um, SRAM SX Eagle on the back, so that's 12 speed. Uh, we've got Tektro brakes and then a range of Gas Gas's own uh, components, such as the bar, the stem, seat, seat post, and the wheels. Now the top of the range trail cross comes in at 4699 euros, so it's a good price for an e-mountain bike. And it sees a lot more Shimano componentry, such as the Dior four piston brakes with uh, 200 and 180 rotors. You've got 12 speed XT driller on there, and a rare sight is the Shimano dropper post. Elsewhere, we've got a Fox 36 and a DPX uh, shock from Fox, 
and uh, like I said, 29 inch wheels rolling on Schwalbe rubber. So what do I think that a motorcycle brand such as Gas Gas will bring to the e-bike world? Well, they'll certainly bring some culture, some attitude, some very talented athletes, and possibly some durability because of their motorcycle background. And also, they might not be quite so obsessed with weight, which the mountain bike industry has been for the past 30 years.